Hey, it's Alan Spector back with you, and every Tuesday and Thursday at this time, I'm joined by longtime Orlando attorney Tom Olson for Olson on Law. Tom, good morning. Good morning, Alan and crew and WFLA listeners. In our topic this morning, some things to know about co-owning real estate with someone else. So, Tom, say you co-own real estate with someone and you want to sell and they don't. When might that happen, Tom? Two situations, Alan. One is where one of the children lives with the parents. Now both the parents pass away and the home is owned by all of the children. All the children want to sell the home now, except for that one child that's always lived there who, guess what, wants to continue to live there. The other situation is where a boyfriend and girlfriend buy a home together and they split up and now they need to figure out how to sell it and go their own ways. So can a co-owner of real estate force the sale of a property? Yes, Alan. Through a suit for partition, the court will order that the property be sold. And not only that, but the uh, attorney's fees and court costs will be paid out of the sale proceeds. All right. Having a little bit of audio difficulty here. Uh, Tom, can the court deny the partition and the sale of the property? No, the suit for partition will always be granted, and uh, the winner will get attorney's fees and court costs. Alan, in the old days, when we talked about acreage, like 10 acres, the court would literally divide it into two five-acre plots. These days, when you talk about a home being on a property, you can't divide it, so the court will instead order that it be sold. So in all of your years of law practice, Tom, have you ever had to do a suit for partition? Alan, I've written many demand letters on behalf of clients over the years, but when the other party finds out that not only will they lose, they'll have to pay attorney's fees and court costs, they give up and agree to sell the property. All right. If you have legal questions about this or anything else, Tom will be happy to answer them on the Olson on Law Show. That is now heard Saturdays at 10 a.m. right here on News Radio WFLA Orlando. You can also catch Tom and me on Zoom live or later as we do these Tuesday and Thursday morning segments, and you can find those at WFLAOrlando.com. Thanks, Tom. We'll see you next time. Thank you, Alan. And remember, for all of your legal needs, call the Olson Law Group in Orlando.